Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, so um, let us continue the discussion on this uh, auto cycle analysis and we have looked at the thermal efficiency and the other uh, things for the ideal cycle and also talked about when the efficiency actually differs in the real cycle. Now we are uh, discussing about the mean effective pressure uh, and then we can do pressure which could be IMEP that could be defined as WCI by VD and one can write PI NR by NVD. Now, if brake work is used, then brake mean effective pressure which is called brake mean effective pressure which could be written as also like P B in R by N V D. So, both mean effective pressure are related like B M E P equals to eta M into I M E P. So, they are connected with the mechanical efficiency of the shaft turn. Now, also we can define the uh, friction mean effective pressure. So, like F M E P which is I M E P I M E P minus B M E P. So, we have P B equals to 2 pi N T and B M E P is 2 pi T N R by V D. So, with that also we can have some other um, other definition of the thermal efficiency of the auto cycle. Uh, let us say we can have we can define the thermal efficiency also identified as the fuel conversion efficiency like then we can write eta T H equals to indicated power by fuel mass flow rate into heating value which is P i by m dot f into Q h v. So, this is what one can drive that fuel conversion efficiency, fuel conversion efficiency. Now, also we have air fuel ratio or failure ratio. Now, if you say A by F that is air fuel ratio, if you say F by A that is fuel air ratio. Now, for normal operating range SI engines or the gasoline engines have a air fuel ratio of something around 8. So, the fuel air ratio would be 0 0.056 to 0 0.05083 or CI engine this is typically 18 above to 70 so which would be 0 0.014 to 0 0.015. Now, also we have specific fuel consumption SFC uh, 
which is specific fuel consumption which is m dot f by p. Now, similarly we can have I S F C, this is indicated specific fuel consumption which is m dot f by p indicated power. We can have brake specific fuel consumption which could be m dot f by p b brake power. We could have frictional specific fuel consumption which is m dot f by p f frictional power. So, what we can uh, then uh, write uh, this guy the fuel conversion efficiency is like uh, so eta a which is a fuel conversion efficiency we can write like 1 by so this is m dot 1 by SFC into heating value. Okay. So, the specific fuel consumption is inversely proportional to the thermal efficiency or normal hydrocarbon fuel. Okay. Now, there are uh, different range of fuels which can be used and there are different values of kind of uh, their efficiency level. Now, we will move to find out the other parameters like uh, volumetric efficiency, so which is eta v. Now, volumetric efficiency is one the one used only in four stroke engines. So, this is used for four stroke which have a distinct induction process and this uh, gives an measure of the for the effectiveness of engines induction process as the intake system like the air filter, carburetor, intake manifold or intake valve the restricts the amount of the intake amount of the air inducted to the engine. So, this can be defined as that V dot A by V S which is the volume flow rate of the air into the intake system. So, this is volume flow rate of air into intake system to the, so this is a divided by the rate at which volume is displaced by piston. So, this one can write to m dot a rho a i v d n, where rho a i is the air density at inlet v a is the rate of naturally aspirated induced air volume uh, v s is the rate at which volume is displaced by piston. So, in the piston speed is defined, so S p is 2 L n, where L is the stroke, then we can write eta v is 4 m dot a L by rho a i v d S p which is m dot a by rho a i v d. So, that is what 
this is a where m is the mass of the air inducted into the cylinder per cycle. Okay. So, that is what we can. So, here we can write m a and this is the mass of air inducted into cylinder per cycle. So, that is what you get the volumetric efficiency. Now, we can get propulsive efficiency. So, this is the piston engine is coupled to a propeller to furnish the forwarding thrust for the propulsion efficiency also could be defined. So, the now one can have some definition like engine uh, uh, specific weight and specific volume of the engine specific weight which is the engine weight divided by rated power and you can have specific volume which is the engine volume divided by rated power. The relationship between these performance parameters we can establish. Now, the we can write P is eta let us say eta f m dot a n. So, this q heating value fuel by E r ratio divided by n r. So, which is eta f eta v n v d q heating value rho a i f by a by n r. So, now eta v is coming into the picture. So, rho a v eta. So, here the eta v rho a i and d. So, this is the same m a one can use that this is the m a is the mass of air inducted into the cylinder per cycle. So, then the torque where we get eta f eta v V d q h b rho a i f 2 pi n r and mean effective pressure that would be eta f eta v q h b a i fuel air ratio. Now, the power per piston area often called specific power. So, the specific power is defined at P by A P eta F eta V in L Q H V fuel by air ratio by N R and introducing the mean piston speed which S P bar is 2 L N P by A P would be eta f eta v by q h v air fuel air ratio by 2 n r. So, this 
So, typically for 4 stroke engine this is P by AP is mean effective pressure SP by 4 and 2 stroke this P by AP is mean effective pressure SP by 2. So, these are the typical values of uh, this um, power and now we can move to some uh, two stroke engine or two stroke um, auto cycle engine. So, let us see some this is a typical picture of two stroke engine where this is this is a two stroke SI engine what you can see and this is a, this is the cycle two stroke auto cycle. Now, what it talks about that engine is very small the two stroke engine this is used in ultra light aircraft similar to four stroke engine. Also, this has some cylinder, piston, crankshaft, connecting rod. So, these are having all this. So, the, uh, the petrol engine uses the spark plug and the diesel engine replaces the spark plug with the fuel injector. Okay. And this is the typical uh, cut section of the engine here and this is the cycle of the engine. So, where you can see a fresh charge of fuel air mixture enters and then uh, you have like piston uncovers here and then the uncovers the intake port while moving upward. So, then there is already a fuel air mixture which is being compressed in the cylinder, so which are head above the piston and the top of the compression stroke the explosion takes place due to the spark plug. Now, when the piston move downwards here in the third stroke, it slowly uncovers the exhaust port. Now, the exhaust flow takes place when the piston again moves back. So, this is um, shows you some of the idea about that these things. Now, we can compare some two stroke uh, and four stroke engines like simple comparison of we can have let us say two stroke and four stroke. So, one could be the compression ratio. So, let us say here this is typically 18 is to 1 to 100 is to 1, this we are talking about compression ratio and this case it is 10 is to 1 to 20 is to 1. Then speed, this case this is 2000 to 6000, then this is 400 to 3500 and then we can have power stroke. So, this is one working stroke per one revolution of the air uh, crankshaft. So, the one working stroke per one revolution of crankshaft and this is one working stroke per two revolution of crankshaft. Okay. So, flywheel size 
this is smaller, this is uh, larger, then you have construction, this is simpler and easy to manufacture, manufacture, this is complicated. Mechanical efficiency, this is higher due to few moving parts, this is lower. Thermal efficiency, this is small, this is quite high. Noise, this case it is high, this case also small. Fuel consumption, this case it is high, this case low. Finally, the maintenance, this is high maintenance, this is low maintenance. So, these are some of this um, comparison that you can think about. Now, with that we will go to now four stroke diesel engine discussion or the compression uh, CI engine discussion. So, this is a compression ignition kind of reciprocating engine. So, this was uh, first proposed by Rudolf Diesel in 1890s that was uh, very similar to the SI engine which was already discussed. So, here the air is compressed to a limit where then the fuel is injected and the combustion takes place. So, if we put the diagram for this again like this is P and V diagram. So, that short from 0 to 1, then it goes, it comes back 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this case is constant, this case is constant and this is A, this is B. Similarly, if you put that thing back in T S diagram, so this is 1 5, then it goes up, comes down, comes here. So, this is 2, this is 3, 4, this is uh, sorry, this is B, this is A. So, here P constant, here V constant. So, now here different process that we can uh, define. Now, the thermodynamic process like this case also 0 to 1 is constant pressure induction of air at ambient pressure P naught. So, here the intake valve is open and the exhaust uh, valve is closed and uh, now second 1 to 2, this is isentropic compression stroke, compression stroke. So, here the both the valves are closed then third 2 to 3 this is constant volume heat addition process that means the combustion takes place here so here we get p3 is t max p3 is p2 v2 is vtdc specific heat Q in which is C p t 3 minus T 2 H 3 minus H 2 
q 2 3 is q in which is m dot a q h b combustion efficiency m dot m C p t 3 minus t 2. So, it can be m dot a plus f uh, C p into t 3 minus t 2. So, we can write q heating value into eta C. So, into C p t 3 minus t 2. So, the specific work would be q 2 3 minus u 3 minus u 2 which is p 2 v 3 minus v 2. Now, there is a cutoff ratio which is called beta here that is defined at the v 3 by v 2 which is v 3 by v 2 t 3 by t 2. Okay. So, now we will uh, go to process 3 to 4 this is again isentropic uh, process, isentropic expansion stroke or the power stroke, all valves are closed. Then uh, process 4 to 5, this is again constant volume, constant volume heat rejection process. So, here the exhaust valve is open and intake valve is closed and then we have 5 to 0 which is constant pressure exhaust stroke at P naught which is ambient. So, now the piston uh, then executes at an engine stroke in which the burned uh, gases are purged into the cylinder through the open exhaust valve. So, the thermal efficiency that for diesel engine we can get W net by Q in which is 1 minus Q out by Q in which would be 1 minus C B T 4 minus T 1 divided by C P T 3 minus T 2. We can write 1 minus T 4 minus T 1 by gamma T 3 minus T 2. So, we can do little bit of rearrangement and then what we can write this could be 1 by R c to the power gamma minus 1 beta to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma beta minus 1. So, where R c is V max by V min which is essentially V 1 by V 2. C p by C v and beta is V 3 by V 2. So, this is what we get the thermal efficiency of the cycle and we will stop here and continue the discussion in the next lecture.